Hello and welcome to Performance Testing Hub. I am Nikhil. This is my second video on control. In my previous video, we have seen how we can design a simple scenario and how we can execute it. Also, we have seen uh, what are the different options available while designing and executing a scenario. If you have not seen my video, the link is present inside description. Please watch that. In today's video, we will be seeing how to design a complex scenarios. We will be seeing how you can design a goal based scenario and also how to design a real world scenario. So let's get started. So we have opened the controller. So in previous video, we have created a simple scenario using manual scenario option. In today's video, we will be creating some real world scenarios using this manual scenario option and also we will be creating some scenarios using goal, goal oriented scenario option. So let's first see the manual scenario option. So I have just selected the manual scenario option. I'm selecting one script, adding it and click OK. So this will open the design page of controller. So now before uh, for designing our scenario, let's let's take one example which we want to design. Uh, let's assume we have been given an objective that we have a system which can handle 50 users. And we need to find what is the maximum number of users the system can handle. So let's see for this particular objective how we can design the scenario. So since we already know that the system can handle 50 users, so we will first rank, ramp up 50 users in our application and let them run for some time. So this will make the system stable with this 50 users. So once the system is stable with 50 users, we can keep on ramping certain number of users and let them run for specific time. Let's say we will keep on ramping 10 users and let them run for say 15 minutes and again 10 users and again let them run for 15 minutes and so on. Until we see uh, some unexpected errors uh, with our application. So it can be like a sudden increase in response time or it can be like uh, uh, you, you, your application starts sending you some uh, errors so if as soon as you start seeing some unexpected uh, issues with your testing you will stop it so this test design is something like a, a break finding a breakpoint where you will keep on increasing the user load until you find a breakpoint in your application so breakpoint means until your application starts giving you some un unwanted response so now we have, uh, we, uh, we have our objective and we have seen how we have to design our uh, scenario. Now let's see how we can design this scenario in controller. So we are back on controller and this is our design page of controller. So this is the script which we have already added to the controller. Now let's start the schedule. So we are, uh, we are selecting schedule by scenario option here. Since the schedule which we are creating is for the whole scenario, so I am selecting schedule by scenario. Run mode, we are selecting real world scenario. Now let's start designing this global schedule. So whatever changes I am doing on the left side will be graphically, graphically represented on the right hand side. Okay, so first uh, in our objective, we know that uh, our application can support 50 users. So let's select here start. 50 users okay, 2 users every 50 seconds so I am just giving a small ramp up time maybe I can give 10 seconds small ramp up time and I am saying start 50 users and we want this 50 users to run for let's say 30 minutes ok ok so what I have done is uh, I have ramped up 50 users and they will be in my application for around 30 minutes so that the application becomes stable with this 30 users now we will do a step increase so for that what i will do is i will click here if you see here it's giving me option add action after so i want to add a new action i will click on it my action will be start v users so you have different options here start stop duration so i want to add v users so i am saying uh, let's say I want to add 200 because I don't know how much uh, my application can support. So I'm just saying start 200 V users and 10 V users every 15 minutes. And 
click apply ok ok if you see here so ramp up will happen 50 users will come they will be in system for some time and after that there will be a ramp up of 10 users they will be in system for 15 minutes then again the count will be increased by 10 users and they will be in system for 15 minutes so this will keep on going 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 until we reach 200 users okay and after 200 i will just keep that stop all users apply okay so if you see this design this is similar to what design we have in our objective so we have created the same uh, scenario which was in our objective we are we are ramping 50 users they will be in system for let's say 30 minutes and then 10 users every 15 minutes it will be ramping so when we run this scenario so uh, it will keep on running and whenever we are seeing some unwanted uh, result for example increase in response time or uh, uh, application starts giving you some errors and uh, your your request starts failing so at that time you can say that your application is breaking and then you will stop this test so one question uh, you might be having is why i give 200 users because right now i don't know how many users my application can uh, withstand but i know that it cannot withstand 200 users so i just gave a random number 200 users because i know that for sure before 200 users it will it will fail so this is how you can design a real world scenario for a, a breakpoint testing so this completes the scenario designing uh, for the objective which were which we started with and uh, once uh, this is done you can go and click on the start button and it will start execution of this scenario i am not starting this execution because we have already seen what are the options available during execution phase so let's move ahead and we will see the second objective which we have planned for this session <clears throat> let's see our second objective assume we have a system which can handle x number of users and now we want to find the impact on the system when suddenly there is a spike in user load performing certain activities so for example let's say we have two scripts one purple line shows one script and green line shows another script performing different activities so let's have a real world scenario where your one activity is uh, running with a normal load where for the second script uh, we are having sudden spike in user load for example uh, it is uh, we are having 50 users and suddenly there is a spike of 20 more users for small duration and then it comes down to normal then again after some time there is a spike of 20 users for small duration and then it comes normal and so on so now we have a real world scenario like this and we want to find what is the impact of this spike in users in the performance of the application so let's see how we can design this scenario in our controller so we are back in controller let's click on file new i don't want to save any changes i'm selecting manual scenario and i'm selecting the script click ok so this will open the design page of the controller so let's select one more script uh, for our uh, this particular objective click ok so now we have two scripts let's go to the scenario schedule so here i am selecting schedule by group because in our scenario the second objective which we have so we have different schedule for two scripts so one script is running with a normal load whereas other script is running with a load with a spike in the user load so that's why i am going with the schedule by group and run mode will be real world okay so when i select uh, schedule by group if you see here when i am selecting the first script it is shown uh, with a, a red color when i am selecting the second script it is shown with a uh, yellow color so that means both the scripts are having their individual uh, schedule so let's start designing so let's select the first script and now this time we are not uh, designing the uh, this is schedule from the left hand side we are not uh, adding the transactions and we are designing this this time we will be uh, designing it using the edit mode of this graph so here if you see here you have an option of edit mode so we will click on this so now this graph will allow us to edit and whatever changes we are doing on the graph automatically our transactions will get added here 
so uh, uh, let's say for first scripts we are having 50 users so i can just click on this point and drag it up to 50 users let's see this so automatically on the left side i got the action and it says start 50 users so whatever action we are doing here automatically uh, it will get recorded on the left hand side and run it for small duration and leave it okay and i have to small ramp up this so this is my schedule for the first group so now let's select the second group where we are seeing spike of user load so i will click on this uh, yellow dot and drag it let's say to 60 users and increase the duration let's say here and bring the bring this a bit small okay so this basic designing is done now for my this yellow script i want to emulate spikes of user load let's see how we can do that so I clicked here, I will select this line and I will split action. So there is an option of split action, I will click on it. So what it will do is, it will split my action into small portions. I will click on it. And if you see, whenever I am clicking here, so here actions are being added. So don't worry about the actions which are being added, just uh, keep on designing your script. Okay, so my scenario was, uh, after some time regular intervals I am getting a spike of 20 users so what I can do I can just drag this point move it here okay and again split, split this split, split this and bring it here so you see how easily I have created a spike of user load similarly I will try to keep, uh, create one more spike so click here you have to be very precise while releasing this dot else it will go to some other place you see i have to leave it like here okay so i need to split it further okay i just splitted it and after some time again we are seeing a user load spiking user load so i am just creating that spike okay it is for short duration Okay, increase this again split this and bring it here okay you saw how easily we can design this uh, scenario using this graph option okay see so similarly you can design uh, your uh, scenario using this graph option and the design is in such a way that it emulates almost a real world scenario uh, so this helps in getting the actual result uh, while doing the execution so uh, if you see on the left hand side so whatever design we have done so everything is getting recorded here and if i if i'm clicking on each action on the right side it is highlighting that which which uh, action in the graph it signifies and if i want to do any modification on this you can just click double click on this and change for example it's 19 users i want it 20 click ok and okay so automatically it will get updated so this is how you can design your real world scenario which will help you in getting the results near to real world so this completes uh, our both the objectives to create a real world scenario real world schedule with a scenario option and create a real world schedule with group option so now let's see how we can design a goal based scenario so we are back in control so previously we have selected manual scenarios now we will select goal oriented scenario we will select this option we will select the script click add and click ok so this will open the design page for goal oriented scenario so if you see the the ui is a bit different as compared to ui of manual scenario so we will see the options available here so here you have a edit scenario goal we will click on that so here you have defined scenario goal so these are the list of goals which you can design based on virtual users based on hits per second based on transaction response time based on transaction per second and based on pages per minute so let's if you want you can create your own so i will click on this new new goal profile let's say demo click ok it is nothing but it will just 
to give you a goal profile name here. So instead of this uh, hits per second 200, I just created my own demo. Now let's first select goal type as virtual users. We want to see if our application is able to handle given number of virtual users or not. Let's say I want to achieve a goal of three users. So I just gave a rich goal of three users. And in scenario settings, you have to give like option run for how much time after the target has been achieved. So I will give for one minute because I want to run this scenario quickly. So I'm giving one minute. And if the target is not reached, let's say my application is not able to handle, then do I want to continue or I want to stop the scenario? We have two options. So I'm going with stop the scenario option. And in load behavior, you can say how you want to ramp up. So I'm going with automatic option. So if you see here, so uh, in manual scenario, you have a lot of things to configure, but here you just have to do a couple of clicks and your scenario will be ready. So now our scenario is ready. Just click on OK and trigger the scenario. So it is saying that uh, I, do I want to override my previous result? I said yes. Okay. So now it is starting my scenario. So if you see all my three users are in running state now. So now they have been ramped up and they are running and they are performing activities in the application. So if you see here my running wizards are three and they have started passing the transaction. So slowly that all my transactions are being passed. If you click here, so you see all three users has been log, have been log, performed logged in. They have been inside any transaction. And now they are doing that click flight button of things. So it will run till all my users have performed all the activities which is present inside the script. And as soon as that is done, my scenario will be completed and then it can say that yes the application was able to handle three users and our goal based scenario is passed so we need to wait uh, till all these transactions are passed so if you see that now three users has passed three transactions and they are moving to four transactions and as soon as it has passed this four transactions the scenario is completed so now our application was able to handle this users let's move back to design page and see what are different options available. So I will again click on edit scenario goal and previously we have selected based on virtual users. So here you have options of hit per sec hits per second also. So based on hits per second. So you can say that I want to reach a uh, goal of five hits per second using minimum of two users and maximum of let's say five users and you can run this scenario so run the, the same things run for one minute after the target has been achieved then stop the scenario and save the result so i am just going with hits per second and let's start this scenario and let's see so i clicked ok and i will start this scenario again i will just i want to override the previous result so i am clicking ok so now two users so it has started two users so if you so now it's almost uh, uh, two minutes so now you will suddenly see that there will be an increase of number of users so as i say previously it was two now it became five so till two minutes it was not able to achieve with the minimum number of users so after two minutes it has ramped up to five users and now it will try to achieve the given uh, hits per second of five uh, five hits per uh, per second so here you can see now the hits per second is also increasing now and we have given in our target that we want to achieve a goal of 5 hits per second. So let's see whether uh, our application is able to achieve this using 5 users or not. So you see, so now our st uh, we have reached uh, 5 hits per second uh, around 2.45 when it time lapsed what 2 minutes 45 seconds and then it ran for one more minute. Uh, 3 minutes 45 seconds and then it stopped. So this is how uh, the goal based scenario works. Then let's again go back to design and click on edit scenario goal. So we have seen how user works, how hits per second works. We have option of transaction per second as well. So when you select transaction per second, 
So here instead of hits per second, you are giving how many transactions per second you want to achieve. And since you are say, saying you are a transaction per second, then you need to select the transaction which you, based on which you want to design your goal. So what are transactions available in your script will be coming here. So based on that, you can design your goal. Next is transaction response time. So here, so all the settings will be same instead of transaction per second you are saying that transaction response time you want to for this particular let's say transaction click flight button reach a goal of five seconds of transaction response time and based on that create the scenario and last is pages per minute so when you select pages per minute then you uh, you give this reach a goal of five pages per minute with a minimum of users and maximum of users so these are the options available in goal-based scenarios and also uh, this completes uh, the objective of our today's session. So we have seen how we can create a complex scenario uh, using a manual scenario option and a real world scenario and also we have seen how we can design a goal-based scenario. So I hope uh, this session was quite informative for you. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.